Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Let's begin. Um, I think we'll start here in our overall energies. We have the lovers reversed and we have the judgment card in the upright. So um, clearly this is a relationship who is struggling. Perhaps you've broken up. Um, it feels with this card like love has deserted you or somebody has deserted you or um, you could be feeling betrayed by a lover. You may not, for some, uh, this is going to be uh, not being able to trust uh, a person that you once felt very close to. Um, you could also feel um, like, or they've made you feel like you're unimportant to them. Now this uh, comes with the card of judgment in the upright. So uh, to this relationship, judgment brings a second chance, a fresh start. Um, you could feel uh, compelled to reach out to someone or they feel compelled to reach out to you. It is a card that can indicate... Um, somebody who's really uh, longing for the other person or longing for uh, this person from the past that maybe the maybe you've currently broken up or maybe it's been some time you've been broken up um, if this is not you it is the other person all right so let's begin in the heart of the reading we have the um, Esclamon de foi. Okay, and she is in the reverse. So something didn't grow. There could have been competition. So if I go back to this card, it's possible that somebody feels uh, betrayed. Um, if that is not the case, then this is a, a struggle. There, there was a lot of struggling uh, arguments, nitpicking in this relationship. Um, it appears as though somebody... Uh, here wants to clear things up. Now I have both the king and the queen of swords. So I, I know that this is a couple. And so this, this is the man, the male energy, the female energy. The female energy is wishing to lay down the burden uh, maybe she's wishing for him to come clear things up. The female here is really deep into her emotions. She's not feeling uh, grounded at all. There's a lot of uh, emotional insecurities, um, burdens surrounding this situation. Um so she is praying here um, for healing, perhaps, for direction. Um, this card indicates the passing of the tower, which was the card that came before it, you know. Um, and so either at this time peace has been restored, which it I don't feel it has from the other cards I'm seeing. So that would indicate to me that you are praying for that, wishing for it, hoping to restore the peace and harmony as it is a card of hope. Um, justice and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so... Justice uh, is speaking to... Mm, the fact that something is out of balance and perhaps somebody didn't play fair or perhaps this is about uh, getting to the truth, seeking answers, seeking explanations. 
paying very close attention um, to details. It's about having the facts. To that end, we have that Knight of Swords. Now, uh, let me see. This Knight of Swords, this Knight of Swords, he may have done something very impulsive in the past and and is coming back to to give the truth because he has his sword sheathed so he's coming in as a helper his hand is out so it's like uh listen you know listen to me listen to what i have to say um he's going to explain away this situation uh, help to untie uh, these person's hands who feel their hands are tied or who are carrying the burden because again we have hands tied here so this would be this king again um, coming in uh, coming in to explain and wanting you to listen to what they have to say. This is what is on their mind. See, they don't hold the sword yet, but they're thinking of reaching for that sword to come in to explain a situation. It is heavily on their mind. This person is um, possibly looking at their options here um, with regards to their thoughts of, of, of or the goal actually which is to get a new beginning someone is emotionally stuck on the past um, on wanting to restore the peace and harmony and kind of feels like maybe everything is against it again the grail knight someone seeking answers here a lot of fears with the eight of swords um, somebody may feel like the other has kept them in the dark, has kept them blindfolded. Here we have this king again. It's always the same king or or the knight of his suit. And he was, uh, uh, he did do some something impulsive in the ba in in the past. Didn't think about what he was doing. He's trying to come back in and explain, sees the error of his ways, you know, with a justice and judgment here. Maybe somebody made a judgment call on this, um, what they, they figured uh, happened. Maybe they didn't have all the facts and maybe this person is coming in to give the facts or, or this is what they want to, uh, to do. You see, here's that king again, and he's looking at the situation. He does want this new beginning, um, and he's trying to come up with a plan or a way. He's trying to figure out what should his next move be um, towards the end of getting that uh, new beginning. But then you have this other person over here who is uh, uh thinking well you know uh i you know you deceived me in the past um so maybe you're trying to deceive me again because um, we have the magician here i'm not sure i believe that we can heal this because you know i'm frustrated with what happened in the past and the four of swords uh energy that she's in here um can be uh, fears that that come out to grab her in the night, fears from the past. Um, here they creep out from under the bed and from out of the closet um, from experiences and, and it frustrates her. And so she's, she's not sure as much as she wants to uh, work through these issues. Um, she's not sure that that it's possible to do this with the six of swords being in reverse so the um this person does bring forth an offer we see it here but there's somebody here in this scenario 
They bring forth an offer. They bring forth that glimmer of hope that yes, we could fix this. But the problem is that somebody is feeling like a victim and like that they might, uh, this person might hurt them again, you know, set them aside again. And so they're not quite trusting the story this person uh, has come back in to tell them back here. Um, okay, so there's there's this new plan here. This is this um, the same uh, message. This speaks to a new plan, and so does this. It's a blueprint, so it's it's not yet taken form. It's still uh, a plan that's in the mind, taking shape in the mind. Um, and this person could have been thinking about this for a while. Um, Two of Swords, um, it speaks to uh, an inner dilemma. Um, so somebody, so okay, so with regards to the new idea this person <clears throat> is bringing forth, this person here uh, is the same person that is here in that Four of Swords energy. And so they're having a dilemma trying to decide if they're going to take this person back or not. Here we have this Ten of Swords because they're still maybe uh, feeling uh, betrayed. Um, this could also be the other person. And um, this situation is alarming. It is bad. We see it on the card. But there is still a chance, it says, to find a positive solution. If this person laying on the ground would but turn his head and look, there is hope. That's hope in, uh, represented in this figure back here. Looking, because somebody does not want to look back to the past. So, um, But saying that you need to look to the past to recognize the errors or mistakes that were made, you know, uh, in order to overcome this. But uh, somebody here uh, may feel it's too late. So that could be this person here uh, that is uh, having all these fears about accepting the offer. Yeah maybe just you know doesn't want to go there feels it's it's just too late that you won't be able to overcome this but this card says that you can and so does judgment and so does this card you got the star again there is a a very good chance that you would succeed at overcoming this problem, whatever it is between you and this other person. And, and that you would see improvements in every part of your life. It is possible, this card says, that because of advice that has been given and taken, a dark phase here you see, will come to an end or is ending. So somebody may offer advice and this would be a helper. So it could be that there is a third energy here that is a helper to this situation that offers very good advice. Now, this can be representing that. Uh, and so can this card because temperance here, you see, we have her, this girl, well, Raven, who is the fool actually, who's talking about her problems to the bartender and the par bartender is listening, you know, um, and most likely offers advice. So, um, very possibly somebody will offer you good sound advice and 
you should listen. Yeah, so here he comes. Yeah. Two of Cups, an emotional decision. Um, Knight of Wands, unexpected news. This person is coming. But someone feels there's this huge obstacle. Even though they're missing this person, they feel there's a huge obstacle between them. Most likely this is trust. Because the trust was broken. But this can be healed. Um, it can be fixed. It can be uh, whatever was going on here. These problems can be overcome and you can restore the peace and harmony to this situation um, because we also have the Ten of Cups in the upright. A successful outcome, peace and harmony returned, and fulfillment. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.